Fantastic. Hello, everyone. My name is Michael Glaze, and I am a training advisor at the Personnel Board of Jefferson County. We are so excited to come to you. We're doing Lunchtime Learning Blast uh, through the month of February. Right now, we're, we're testing this out, seeing how it works. But uh, it's an opportunity for us to share a few moments of learning, leadership, uh, some current events, things that are just going to help you uh, a little bit. So we are, we are really excited to do this for you. Today's lunchtime blast, lunchtime learning blast, is you are what you think. So I want you to, to enjoy this time. It's going to just take a few moments. But uh, really think about that just for a moment. You are what you think. Let me uh, get over here and we will move right along in some slides and I'll, I'll tell you exactly what we're talking about here. Um, there we go, you are what you think. Uh, it, it helps when technology works for you, but it is, it is fantastic to be here. And you know, as I thought about what I wanted to share today, you are what you think. I have seen this everywhere. Of course, I, I, it became an interest of mine. So I have read about it. I have seen it. It seems like now that I'm picking it up from um, pretty much everywhere I go, I am seeing you are what you think. All of the great philosophers, authors, uh, so many people have told us that you are what you think and I am a, a huge believer at this point, and I hope I can help you understand that it is really true, that it is real. What you think is who you are. So uh, as we move through this slide, let me uh, share with you a, a few things that, that'll help you understand this. A, a very good friend of mine posted this the other day, and I thought it was very, very interesting that she learned 80% of our thoughts are repeated every day. So what are you thinking about? Um, is that what's keeping you down? Change your thoughts and change your life. I believe that that is true. I believe that it is true for uh, even moments of time. We're gonna talk about quite a few things. If you're joining me today, I would love for you to do this with me. If you will just take one moment of time I would love for you to close your eyes and I want you to think a happy thought. To just think a happy thought, whether it's your children, whether it's grandchildren, a vacation, a wonderful vacation on the beach, mountains, wherever it is, think about your happy place, okay? Uh, now, what I would like for you to do, now that you're at your happy place, I just want you to smile. Just put a smile on your face, hold it. And now the exercise is over. You can come back and you can join me. What I wanted to let you know is when you were in that happy place, it's, it's a fact that we can only have one emotion at a time. So regardless of how you were feeling before, because you started thinking a happy thought, you tended to be happy. You had a you had a smile on your face. For that moment in time, you were happy because you thought a happy thought. So let me, let me share a few slides with you. Let me go through this and, and show you some things. This is how it really works. You've got thoughts that turn into actions, which turn into habits, which develops your character. This is really, really important. I think so many times we don't even think about what we're thinking about. So we forget that it's a thought. When we're thinking, the, the thought itself is gonna turn into an action, then habits. Our habits day after day after day started with a thought. And then that, that develops who we are, who we are as an individual. It is so cool as I started tracing this back and I, I took it personal and, and started thinking about my thoughts every day. That's why I try to start every day and I'll encourage you to do this. Uh, start every day with an attitude of gratitude. Just be happy. Just, just wake up and, and be thankful 
for what you have, thankful that you woke up. You know, there's a lot of things going on right now that we could really get uh, down and out about. But I'll tell you, I, I just got over being pretty sick. But every day, I force myself to be thankful that I could feel the things that I, that was going on. That uh, it, it was, I, I was just really thankful that I could be there. Uh, rather than going, oh, this is awful, this is horrible, because I know the importance of thoughts. Let me share this with you. It's 5 p.m., Highway 280. This is your car. You're looking out your windshield. What are you thinking? For most of us, what's going on at, at this point is we are frustrated. We're getting a little bit angry. People next to us are showing us a few gestures, whatever those may be out the car window. You may be at a point where you want to give some gestures back. You blow in the horn. We're getting all frustrated. We're getting angry. We, we don't know uh, anything else except just being angry. By the time we get home, we are exhausted. It was a long day of work, but we've almost forgotten about work because the traffic was just not what we wanted it to be. So we get home, we kick the cat, we don't even speak to anybody. We go to the couch uh, or go somewhere just to relax and sit down. Well, I want you to think about it just for a moment. It's all a thought about, we were thinking about how we felt about the traffic and it really, really got us all stirred up and it, it got us frustrated. It put us in a bad mood. Um, maybe angry. We, we have that uh, road rage. So many times we are known for our road rage. Uh, kids tell other people about, hey, when my mom's driving, you watch out. She's got some pretty serious road rage. Or, or when my dad's driving, whatever the case may be, it's all, it all begins with a thought. It is the thought, how we position ourselves when we get behind that wheel and when we see that traffic. So I'm going to help you uh, get past that. We're going to think about things differently, and we're going to change that stinking thinking. Uh, you may have heard that before, but that really is some stinking thinking. If we think about how we feel at the end of every day, it may take us, you know, we, we live, if there was no traffic, we live 10 minutes from work, and for some reason, it takes us 30 minutes, sometimes an hour to get home. And we can get really frustrated and angry. But I wanna tell you that you can change that around to where it doesn't have to be negative. It doesn't have to get you down. It doesn't have to make you angry. You can use that time to think in a more positive way, to think successfully, and we'll change that stinking thinking around. Your thinking, our thinking, the way we think is energy. So our thoughts are energy. If you've ever been in a store, you know, they have these at Target and Walmart, uh, Spencer's, I don't even know if there is a Spencer's anymore. The Spencer's used to have these uh, towards the back and have a whole shelf, but everybody was touching it. You know, we may not want to go touch things anymore, touch those lamps, but I will tell you this. If you do, go and you just reach out and you touch the side of that lamp, what's going to happen is the energy that's inside that lamp is going to be attracted to your finger. All of, the, all of that light is going to transfer to your finger. That's just like our thoughts. Our thoughts attract similar thoughts. So if I'm thinking positive, positive things are going to come to me. If I'm thinking negative, negative things are going to come to me. Try this out. When you're in a, when you drive into the next uh, grocery store, rather than going, I never get a good parking spot. What I'd love for you to do is, you know, I, I have a pretty good feeling today. I'm gonna get a great parking spot. I, I will almost guarantee you that by the time you get two or three rows down, that there's gonna be a parking space that opens up within the first five sections you're going, wow, I can't believe that happened. Or I can believe it happened because I knew that I was going to get a good parking space today. You find so many people that are driving that parking space, waiting for that first space, and they're just angry. They're mad. And 
you know, by the time they pass by, somebody else pulls in and it just makes them really angry. Well, they end up parking at the far end of the parking lot. It's because I never get a good parking space is the thought that's in their head. You know, I, I, I try this out all the time. I cannot explain it, but I'm gonna tell you it works. There are so many people that will tell you they, they, they can't explain it, it just works. I can be going down Highway 280 and a lot of times you find yourself stopping at every red light. Me, I'm going, you know, I think it's gonna be green all the way to work. And believe it or not, there have been many, many days that I changed my thought process of once I, I am on the 280 highway, all the lights tend to be green. They turn green as I'm approaching rather than the, the typical, it used to be, man, I hate sitting here and I know I'm going to get caught by this traffic light and it's green, 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 green until you get there and then all of a sudden it turns red and you're just stopping. If you'll try it and you just think positive, I'm going to get green lights today. I'm going to hit green lights all the way. You may not hit every one, but I bet you from a percentage standpoint, you're going to have more greens than you have reds. Try it out and see it. Thoughts really do matter. And it really is who we are. It helps develop that character. Zig Ziglar, one of my favorites, I, I love to listen to him speak. You know, I, I may have lost some of you now because you're going this positive thinking stuff. Well, positive thinking won't let you do anything. He makes that very clear when he's talking, but it will let you do everything better than negative thinking will. I believe that so much. You know, so, so we don't get caught up in positive thinking is the, the only way. If you think positive, you can conquer the world. You can climb every mountain. You can cross every sea. Well, let me tell you, positive thinking isn't gonna make me a doctor tomorrow. Positive thinking isn't gonna make me uh, a bazillionaire tomorrow. But as I change my thoughts to be more positive, then things will be more attracted to me that are positive. I may not be a doctor, but I may get to know some doctors that are going to help me uh, get some of those answers that I may need medically. Another thing that's really, really important here is not to get caught up in if, if I'm positive all the time, uh, the, the world is just going to be rainbows and daisies. What we're trying to say is be an optimist. Always think at a higher level. Think of a, uh, in a positive way. So let me tell you how to do that. You can change who you are and where you are by controlling what goes in your mind. Now, I've got a picture here of, of what I would love my living room to look like. Uh, sh uh, just shelves full of books. That would be amazing. Okay, here, let me, let me help you out with something. If you take 20 minutes every day and read, within one year, you will have been be able to complete 2,200 page books. That's about 19 more than the average person. Okay, you're filling yourself full of education. You're filling yourself full of vocabulary that you're going to be able to use. Here's another thought for you. Uh, change who you are and where you are by controlling what goes in your mind. The University of Southern California did a study a while back. And uh, if you live in a, uh, a metropolitan area, and you drive about 12,000 miles a year, which most of us drive more than that, but if you just drive 12,000 miles a year, you can acquire an equivalent of a two-year college education in three years time just by listening to educational information in your car. And since the average American spends about 200 to 700 hours a year in the automobile, that's good news. All right, that is good news because let's go back to 280. Instead of being frustrated, put on a podcast. Find motivational speakers that you really enjoy. Find somebody that can pour education into you and listen to that because over time, it is going to educate you. It's going to help you become smarter. 
It's going to help you think faster. It's going to give you the knowledge to, to change who you are and possibly where you are. If you're not satisfied where you are as far as work or you want to be better doing what you do at work, find people that do it better. Listen to them. Listen to those podcasts. Listen to those motivational speakers and get the knowledge it takes to be better than you are right now. It's, it's proven if you'll fill your head with educational thoughts and you read, you're gonna be much smarter than those who do not, okay? So that's how you can change things just by changing your thinking. Change your thinking about your drive time instead of this is a waste of time. I wasted 30 minutes or I wasted an hour in this commute. No, you didn't. You used it to learn and to grow. So let me help you. As I finish up here, let, I want to help you do this. Filter your thoughts. I want you to be mindful of how you're thinking. And it's, it's very, very simple. It, it, it goes perfect with this. And I, I want to share this with you so you can think clearly and you can think rational. Be a rational thinker. When your thoughts come into your head, think to yourself, is this thought right? Especially when it comes to you thinking about yourself. You know, it's a, it's a fact that we listen to ourselves more than we listen to anybody else. Our self-talk is, is so loud that we really need to change the way that we think about ourselves and we need to change how we think to make sure that it's right thoughts. Uh, don't tear ourselves down. Are my thoughts admirable? Are they true? Are the thoughts I think of myself true? Are the thoughts I think about whatever subject I'm thinking about true? Are my thoughts impeccable? Do I have outstanding thoughts? If you are thinking outstanding thoughts, you typically share those thoughts with other people. And I'm going to tell you, you become known for having outstanding thoughts. Are they noble? Is it, do people look at you and say you have a noble character about you? Are your thoughts attractive? This is really, really important. Um, the, the last two, I want to spend just a, a few more seconds on attractive thoughts. Are they attractive? Would they be attractive to other people? If people could see inside your head and see what's going on, is it attractive in there or is it something they're going, oh, I don't, I really don't want to do that. I want to encourage you to think attractive thoughts. And then finally, are your thoughts lovely? Do you have lovely thoughts about yourself? Do you have lovely thoughts about your job? Do you have lovely thoughts about the people that you work with and the people that you meet? And let me just take this piece, the lovely piece. Wouldn't it be lovely when you're driving down 280 or wherever you're driving? And I, I, I want you to do this today. It's, a, it's just a little challenge for you. As you're driving, wherever you're going, however you get home today, as you pass people, the gesture that would be fantastic to share with people is a wave and a smile. Just wave and smile, boys, wave and smile. Just wave and smile and give them a nod. Like, today's a great day. Thanks for sharing the road with me. You know, smile and your thoughts are gonna change. It's gonna be positive as opposed to being negative. Like I told you at the very beginning, if you have a smile on your face, you can't think negative thoughts. You can't be negative while you're being positive. You just can't. So these are some really uh, key terms here, eight terms that I want you to think about. And I want you to be a rational thinker. If nothing else, if you can't remember anything else, if someone were to use those eight adjectives that are in rational, to describe you, how would it make you feel? So with that in mind, think rational. Uh, it's been great spending time with you today. I really, really have enjoyed it. This is a, a fantastic topic for me because I have to remember to think rational all the time. 
So thanks for, for spending some time with us here on Facebook. Tell others to join us. You do not have to be a merit system employee. Tell others to just follow Personnel Board of Jefferson County on Facebook. It'll pop up and say, hey, Facebook uh, Personnel Board is, is live. And we'll love to share this information with you, uh, share topics with you like this, and just make your day a little bit brighter. Have a fantastic, fantastic weekend. Uh, I hope that you think rational. And remember, you are what you think. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.